Solberg and Cornestro as well on the back row, second row. Pet is going to go to the inside. Timoziano goes out. They've done exactly the same as the previous Pichy time. Down the inside, oh, on the yeah, inside, the yeah. Maneuver. He's done it. peachy has gone past both what? of them. Extra mount in the wall. Timoziano done back to sixth place. How did Peachy do that from the back row, guy? Brilliant maneuver. He slotted across the back of the other two. Up the, the two inside. Right. Backward looking up the inside. inside. Pet to Solberg down at the bottom running. of the hill. Solberg runs wide. Danielson's got the inside. Solberg dropped back to third place. This is going to be fireworks now. Oh, we said it, didn't we? Yeah. You just looked at the names on that list. Danielson runs wide. Solberg's surely going to get him on the undercut the way back out the last corner. Up towards the jump. Solberg's run over the big curves at both ends of the circuit. He must make sure he doesn't damage the car. He's, He's going to come through. And Petter Solberg drops down to fifth place. Ekstrom in front of him. And if, you, if he's going to try and get past Ekstrom and PG, I don't think he's going to do it. I think the world champion's going to miss another Whoa, final. Timoziano oh. was on two wheels then as we just went out of sight. Timo then down at the bottom of the hill. And he's got... Uh, that's, who's his that? Petter. It's Petter. Petter at the side of the road. Oh, Petter has got a puncture as well. There's, there's the rest of... There's the rest of Petter's car in the road. Ekstrom slowed down as well. Timoziano. Timoziano's rolled. Timoziano rolled. So Timoziano, everything has happened. Everything has happened in this second semi-final. So backwards got a puncture. Alex Danielson, the first time he's made it through to the semi-finals, looks like he might go through and do what Rostad did. Stick it on the front row of the grid. Solberg's just passed us, going slowly down the straight. There he is. The whole rear end of the car's missing. I think we need another commentator to keep up here. It's unbelievable. We just can't see everything that's going on. Down the bottom of that, Petter Solberg in the background going slowly. And there's backward coming around there. Oh, we'll try to come backwards. He's, he's still got the puncture. I think he might have spun, but I think he's quite safe. It depends where Timoziano is. We're not seeing that at the moment. PG obviously leading this one out. PG Anderson is the leader from Danielson and backward. Backward is going round in third. Oh, he's lost the wheel. Backward's wheel off. Backward's wheel off down a turn You're one not from seeing the top position. The wheel. So backward now has got a whole lap to do with only three wheels. He's, he's going to pull off. Backward pulls off, so backward is out. So who's going to go through here? At the minute, it's Tim Timoziano. He's going to go through in third place at the minute. It will be Timoziano, who we think rolled the car earlier on. I didn't see at the time. We've got so much going on up here. PG leads. Let's get them over the line. Yes. Danielson going through in second place. We've got one lap to go. There he is. There's yeah. Timoziano. That is Timoziano in third place. Can they even get that car repaired and get it through to the final? Well, he just has to get it across the finish line first. You know, that's the most important thing that he does qualify. PG's obviously got this going comfortably. Wow. Last corner up the hill. Win for PG Anderson from the last position on the grid. He wasn't even meant to be in there, and he's done it. Danielson goes through in second place. We're waiting to see who's going to go through in third place. Timmers Yarnov still crawling around the track. There he is. I can't yeah. believe that that car, if the roll cage is bent, he'll be out. Look at it, still going, Guy. I mean, it's, it's panel damage. Yeah, great job. Great, great line. job. He Tim had is, two oh. big incidents in that race and still kept going. Oh, who's that? Nittish got a problem. Nittish slow, so Nittish yes. slow. Good spot, Guy Wilkes. Hansen up the inside of the last corner. Nittish is going back and runs wide. We haven't seen what's happened. Was it a problem for him? Yes, Nittish he's going slow. Slowly. Hansen just stops on the inside. My goodness, we ran into the backwind. So Nittish, past the top of the Nittish, going slowly. Rainy Nittish going backwards into the Joker app. has got Larson and Christopherson. Who's going to make it through to the final? Larson comes through. Hansen and Larson to the merge. Larson might go through to the front row. Up the inside by Christopherson. This is unbelievable. Christopherson P1 Hansen's alongside him and Larson's going with him too. Wow, down to the next corner. Oh, oh Hansen with a spin. Larson, Larson spins. Larson spins round the two Peugeot. Hansons are in first and second. We can see from the competition. It's Hansen from Gimay and Christopherson. The dustman you couldn't see on the pictures. But my goodness me, the last lap has been fireworks. Nittish is all over the back of Christopherson. He's desperate to make it up into P3. In the background, Hansen's going to go through. Despite that noise, all the way through, Hansen goes through to take the win in semi final two, which is a second. Christopherson and Nittish. My goodness me, wow. what happened there? Round 11 of the World Rallycross Championship. Are we going to crown a champion today? The current champion and the champion-elect are on row one together. Great start by all six cars. Solberg, though, is level with Ekstrom up towards turn one. Ekstrom's going to run wide. Up the inside, Kevin Hansen. Absolutely no mercy. Kevin Erickson all the way round the outside. That's an outrageous move. Kevin Erickson started the weekend into the lead.
lead from Petter Solberg. Andreas backwards going to look up the inside of Solberg down the back end of the straight. Christopherson and Ekstrom is down in P6. Well, there are many people that can say they drove round the outside of Solberg at turn one. Kevin Eriksson, the, the impetuosity of youth got him there. Absolutely stunning move. Not around the outside of everyone. Into the joke lap goes Kevin Hansen on the first lap. Ekstrom in P6, a lead of 30 Euro, so he's got to get away from here with a lead of 30 or more. So I'm going to be, I'm be hoping that he can take the win here and bring that gap down, but it's super tight between them. We'll have to look at the points when we get to the end of the race, but not the start that Ekstrom was looking for. I wonder if Ekstrom's got some sort of a problem, because he's just not on the pace here. Kevin Hansen gets out in front of him, so the championship might go down to the last round after all. Well, I didn't think that Ekstrom had the pace in his semi-final, and he's certainly not showing it here in the final either. There are people banging their hands down in the... Oh, that's Christopherson's, guys. I heard a huge bang behind us. It's Tommy Christopherson just outside the coverage box, and that's because Johan's lost the rear tyre. Last time this happened... Last time this happened, it backed everybody in together, but he's further down the field this time. Christopherson gets out of the way behind him of Hansen and Ekstrom. Kevin Erickson holding on brilliantly here from Solberg. I'm wondering about Solberg's joke tactics here. Remember, there's three extra points up on grabs for that win compared to second place. Solberg surely is going to release it. He does. Good spot, Tim Harvey. Solberg into the joker. Nips the handbrake on the inside. Going to try and get out in front of Kevin Hansen. Hansen's on the gas on the tarmac, but Solberg's got it done, so Solberg's out in front. And that would suggest that the guys are with him could maybe go too back and might end up dropping back. We need to think about when back from jokers, is he going to drop back behind extra room? Is that going to make give extra the points he needs? He's not that quick, is he? No, he messed up that first corner, nearly hit the inside barrier. Bailey, you would have hit it himself. And uh, did come out of the corner very quickly at all. At the minute, the gap is 30 points. That would make Matthias Ekstrom the World Rallycross champion here in Germany. He's going to go and count back, and he's got more wins than anybody else so far this season. So, as it stands with Ekstrom in P5, he would be the World Rallycross champion here. But I think if Solberg can take the lead, then it would go to Argentina. So, this is going to come down to whether or not Kevin Eriksson can withstand the pressure on the last lap here at Buskehuda. I think he can. He's driven absolutely fantastically. Going a 2.1 second lead over Solberg. So, Kevin Eriksson could be on course for doing here. Kevin Eriksson, if he holds off Solberg, he's got to take his joke lap and do so, because if Solberg gets the eight points, I think he'll be within shouting distance to Matthias Ekstrom. We might know from the reaction to the team, but Kevin Eriksson is going to come round and take a brilliant victory here at Buxtehuda, but bringing up the rear in P5, Matthias Ekstrom, I think he's going to be the World Rallycross Champion 2016 as he crosses the line for P5.
with uh, just a, a well, five out of six. So Chris Dobson wins it. Then it goes down towards the end corner. Want to see if Chris Dobson goes in the joke or not? On the Solberg and Lowe in contact between each other in the background. Chris Dobson has moved on to the standard match. Lost to Joe. So let's see where it merges. Solberg's on the other watch. Yeah, he's got more than enough. I think. Uh, so it just seems as if it's going to be close. Solberg's up the inside of Clark and Lowe goes up the inside of Clark as well. Too many to pull, it has. They're loving it, they can see Chris Dobson, he's in trouble, they can smell blood. So can Solberg. Solberg's gonna come around the outside. Just Solberg and everyone. Trying to do the hero job here and hold on, he's got two left. Hold on, boy. if he can do this, I'm going to pass and give him a hurdle. Balmanis, though, has got on the inside of Solberg. So Balmanis oh, has passed Solberg. Chris Dobson Balmanis. trying to hold on to it. Solberg's this is the done corner. Balmanis. So Solberg's done Balmanis. Balmanis on the inside, Liam Dorn. Looks like he's going to go off the inside of all of them. But managed to the joke that perfect timing that we know Chris Dobbs is struggling. Here we go. Can he get the traction on? having a look at Petter. This is really cheeky from Liam in a 1.6 engine. He's having a go. This is unbelievable. This is possibly the best semi-final I've ever seen. We've never seen so much overtake. You don't get this in other motor sports. Chris Dobson actually is doing Petter a favour by slowing the other guys up and Ken Block. He's Doran. Doran on the inside. Doran's gone through so much. Solberg's got the inside of Chris Dobson. Chris Dobson now's desperate to hold on to third. Side by side. Block might make it through to the final. So Block goes through. It's three miles through. Let's go.